Have you ever wondered how a fridge works? The lower temperature reduces the reproduction rate of bacteria. Heat must be transferred from inside of the fridge to the surrounding environment. For this purpose, a refrigeration circuit containing refrigerant fluid is installed. The refrigerant fluid works by being evaporated and condensed, a principle called phase change. The evaporator is fitted inside the fridge. In here, the refrigerant is under low pressure. The condenser sits on the back of the fridge. Here, the refrigerant is under high pressure. The high pressure liquid refrigerant from the condenser is injected into the low pressure of the evaporator via a capillary tube. The liquid refrigerant evaporates in the evaporator at a lower temperature and cools the inside of the fridge. The evaporated refrigerant gas then goes back to the compressor. The compressor is the heart of the fridge. The thermostat is the brain of the fridge controlling the start-stop of the compressor. The refrigerant gas leaves the compressor as hot gas under high pressure. The condenser cools the compressed hot refrigerant and turns it into liquid. This is done by moving the heat through the condenser wall to the surroundings. A capillary tube reduces the pressure and injects refrigerant into the evaporator. And then the whole process begins again. The thermostat is connected to the compressor. When temperature decreases, the thermostat switches off and shuts the compressor. When temperature increases, the thermostat switches on the compressor. And this cycle repeats. The control knob adjusts the position of the switch changing the temperature in the fridge. Let's take a detailed look at the refrigerant loop. A refrigerant in liquid or gas form, phase, circulates inside the tubes in the fridge. When pressure is lowered, the refrigerant starts to boil in the evaporator. Heat is taken from the surroundings making them cooler as the liquid turns into gas. As the pump compresses the gas, it heats up. When the gas reaches the condenser, it returns to its liquid state and radiates off heat. Now we have a closed circuit with a cold, low-pressure part and a warm, high-pressure part. To aid evaporation, the refrigerant is sprayed into the evaporator through an opening. Now we have a complete closed circuit that transports heat out of the fridge to the backside.